Gamers, what's going on? It's your boy Daily Tactics here, and today we have just a crazy video that we're going to be doing in Call to Arms, the War of the Worlds mod. That's right. Today, we're going to be going up against five giant tripods. We have never defeated five giant tripods. We've defeated three giant tripods in the past, but never have we gotten the five kills that we need to defeat five. So we're going to try and do it in today's video by having every nation on earth available in the call to arms uh, universe fighting against these. So here we have the US forces. Over here, we have the Russian forces. Right here, we have the UAF. Uh, over here, we have the rebel forces, I believe. Uh, then right here, we have the GRM forces. And then finally, over here, we've got the German forces. So, <laughs> we have quite a number of nations here coming forward and fighting against five giant tripods. And we're going to see if they manage to do it. Every nation has uh, a tank. They've also got a troop carrier for the US here. It's the Bradley. I thought we could maybe see inside. Oh, we can. Okay, yeah, here's the... Uh, the Bradley crew right here uh, and then uh, they all also have artillery pieces and for the US they have these big chungus artillery pieces and then also some uh, tow Humvees but uh, not every nation has as many troopers uh, as each other it's just sort of random how many troopers each nation gets I guess I, I don't know why I set it up that way but either way it should be awesome also big shout out to Frank the Tank uh, youtuber for making this mod absolute legend check him out on YouTube either way guys without further ado let's get into this thing what's up gamers I'm here to tell you about instant gaming instant gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games uh, seriously it's like 60 to 95 percent off as you can see here uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have they literally have every Star Wars title uh, you can also get Xcom here Men of War Assault Squad 2 all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices if you use my affiliate link in the description it helps me out a ton so thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to instant gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel Alrighty then gamers let's go ahead and press start here and see if these five giant tripods will end up going down this time around it's a it's about time the whole world gets a dub ski against these guys it's about time by the way a lot of you guys in the comment section have been trying to explain the lore of war of the worlds to me um and, and there's differing accounts of what actually happened it seems uh in in war of the world so uh, apparently uh, the movie with tom cruise has different lore than the book and then there's like a reiteration or a retelling of the book that also has different lore so i i'm left still very confused um i am wondering if it's worth reading or watching the movie of it let me know in the comment section below what you guys think if it is worth watching or reading uh, i am kind of curious because it's a pretty cool mod. I'm having a blast playing this. I just am not totally sure if it's worth the time investment uh, to look further into it. Uh, but either way, some people say, uh, you know, they came from Mars apparently, but some people say they were buried under the Earth, and other people say in like different iterations they were sent to Earth. I, I'm very confused. But uh, either way, all I know is big tripod go boom boom. Uh, right now, it looks as though the giant tripods are taking some damage but definitely dealing out a lot more damage than they're sustaining currently. All of the troops and the troop carriers have been uh, divvied out across the battlefield now and are working their way forward with some light arms fire. Uh, we've also still got tanks and artillery pieces firing out at these things too, but they're not really destroying the shields just yet. The shields of all of these things are very much so still alive. The Germans over here probably have it the easiest with just like a 1v1 across this river with one of the tripods, but even with that uh, advantage, they're kind of getting diced up. Let me unclip the camera position so we can zoom in over here. Yeah, the Germans are just absolutely trashed right now. We did do 1,000 German soldiers versus one giant tripod, and they did manage to do that. But, uh, you know, this time around, the Germans might be looking at a fat L. Ooh, massive explosion right there from an artillery piece. Sadly, it completely missed. We've got some missiles hitting. Bada bing. Okay. All right. Ooh. We got some big explosions going off. Maybe they'll be devastating enough to do something. I'm not totally sure. It seems like most of the tanks have already been downed at this uh, point in time. I'm not even sure if this one is left alive. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. It's completely still. Uh, and it seems like mainly it's just infantry 
that's still chilling at this point, and I'm thinking that this is going to be a fat L for the human race. Uh, so you know we're gonna have to do it again, and uh, you know revamp the humans and and try and give them something they can do against these fellers. Uh, but yeah, right now just the very last stragglers of alive humans are are going down. I think in the next battle we will be uh, giving the humans some more tanks for sure, maybe some more artillery as well uh, to try and bolster their lines a little bit here, but. Yeah, there's just not a lot left for these boyos. Random German vehicle over here just hasn't gone down. I don't know why these uh, these giant tripods haven't killed this German vehicle, but they, they just really don't want to. They, they're like, hey, that, that guy's kind of cool. That guy's kind of neato burrito. Oh, God, they're just evaporating the last remaining infantry here. Oh, my God. <laughs> you didn't have to do it to him like that. Jeez. Oh, and it looks like that vehicle is now on fire. So... Yeah, that's pretty much it. There's a few straggling infantry troopers, but they're all pretty much goners. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, and try this again and, and give some reinforcements to the humans. All right, gamers, if you couldn't tell, I've had a lot of forces to this battle. I think we've got maybe like 50 more tanks, so let's see uh, if, if this can pull it off maybe even more than 50 tanks uh, in addition to the original I, I'm not even sure how many I plopped in there but I plopped a lot in there I'm I'm really banking on military might being successful here I also I gotta say the Germans might be my favorite vehicles in this they just look so cool I have no idea if these vehicles are based off of actual real-world vehicles but there's something so dope looking about the German army they just they just look so fly. All right, we do have fire going out from the U.S., the Russian, the, the whole Earth forces here. And uh, already their tanks are going down as well. <laughs> it's like the first line doesn't stand a chance for more than two seconds. But hey, at the very least, we got a whole lot more, you know, AT shells and, and missiles and artillery strikes going up against these tripods. We got a lot more outgoing fire than before. This is, this is certainly something. We're doing something here, boys. Uh, like, uh, you know, you gotta be proud to, to be part of Earth right now. Even if we get crushed, even if we don't kill a single tripod, you gotta be proud to be part of the resistance, to be part of the movement. Who am I kidding? We're getting slaughtered. This is embarrassing. There's five of them and probably 1,000 soldiers on the battlefield total right now. And it's just, we don't even stand a chance. The amount of explosions rocking our lines right now is just absurd. We haven't even killed a single one of these things. Oh my god. Look at the amount of fire output we're doing right now as well. It's, it's so bad, dude. Oh my god. Please. Please, guys, can we can we kill one? Can we kill one? That would be pretty, pretty bodacious, baby. That would be pretty litty. That would be lit, boy. Oh my God, they're just shredding us. Oh my God, it's getting so laggy too with the amount of explosions happening right now. Oh my God, look at this. Look at these forces going in. Look at all these heavy tanks. And I I gave them like the best tanks in the game too. I didn't give them no shrimpy, cruddy tanks you know I, I gave them the best tanks I gave them the best uh, you know mobile artillery that this game had to offer and what do they do with it nothing absolute butt kiss they don't they don't even stand a chance I, you know what I can't blame them it's it's just the way the war of the world works baby it's just the way the war of the world works hey at least there's like half of the force still alive I mean there's still a lot of movement on the ground here we, we still got a lot of oomph left in us. Look at all these fellers heading forward. And look at look at all this fire output. This ain't too shabby, if we're being completely honest. I mean, we're, we're doing some damage. Or at, at the very least, we are attempting some damage here. <laughs> there, is, there is an attempt currently happening. You know, that is a factual statement right there. Despite the attempt not exactly working, it's out there and it's happening. Are the Germans just shredded, by the way? It, it seems like there are barely any Germans left alive. You know, the Germans are in like their own little oasis over here, but it seems to not be working out too well. These guys are trying to swim for their gosh dang lives. <laughs> and that's also not working out too hot for them. Oh my god, here come some rebel forces just getting shredded by these laser beams. 
Like, it's literally like a tickle from the laser beam, by the way. Just completely destroys the entire vehicle you're in. You you do not stand a chance. Not a moment's chance. How, this one has been getting so much fire into it. This, this tank right here, this uh, giant tripod, has had so much fire gone into it. And it is still alive. I mean, I, I just don't know. <laughs> I just don't know what can be done against these things. Like, I think I think we max out our capabilities at three. I mean, we've killed three before in the past. Let's go to normal speed, by the way. We've killed three before in the past. I think we can't do five. Five might be impossible in this game. I, like, just judging by the current state of the army, which, by the way, I'm pretty sure is now completely out of vehicles. Yeah, I think it's only infantry yet again. Yeah, I don't. I do not. Oh no! Th this one random German tank is always left alive at the end. <laughs> that's so weird. But yeah, I don't think five is possible. But that doesn't mean we're not gonna give it one more try. I think I'm gonna delete all of the troop carriers because they're just not as powerful as tanks, and replace them all with tanks and see how that goes. All right, I I went ahead and I replaced all of the troop carriers with tanks or artillery. Uh, so we're, we're optimizing here just a little bit. There's still a little bit of infantry on every tank uh, that can deploy here, uh, but I don't dare make this any larger than it already is for fear of a crash occurring in the game. And quite frankly, I, I don't know if this being any bigger than it already is would help us in the slightest. This is like, this is just so many tanks. And, and, and if this can't do it, I don't know what can. So either way, there's all of the fire coming out of our tanks right there. It's actually kind of glorious to watch. That is, that is a be that is a beautiful, beautiful sight to see. That is a sight to behold. I want to see one of these things going down. Come on, can, can we at least get one kill this time? Is that too much to? Uh, it might be too much to ask. That might be a little, just a little too much to ask. I don't even know what would be the most effective against these things. Like, are these uh, mobile artillery units even worth using? Like, are the tanks just better against these things? Like, I don't know what's better. Eight P shells, eight, you know, eight HE shells. I, I don't know what to use against these to penetrate their armor the best or their shields or whatever those things are. Or, or is light machine gun fire any good either? It's a, it's a hard thing to tell. Uh, by the way, I did give the Germans a lot more tanks here because I felt bad that the Germans were just having such a such a rough go at it, but they're still having a rough go at it. Yeah. <laughs> the, the poor Germans are so isolated over there. I just feel bad, man. I just feel bad for the Germans. It's hard being so isolated on the other side of the river while the rest of humanity dies on the other side of the river. You know, humanity was meant to die together. It was not to, <laughs> meant to die separate. It was meant to die together. This is just an atrocity. Look at all the, look at all the dead vehicles here. <laughs> it's just not fair. It's just really not fair. I think, I think this might not be possible. Five might not be possible. It, it, it might just be too much power, and and we aren't able to do enough against it with the like. I mean, it could be possible if I had like one thousand tanks on the battlefield versus five. But the problem is. The game would crash if I tried to do that, you know? Like, it might be impossible within the restrictions that the game has set for us uh, due to software problems and, and things like that. It, you know what I'm saying? Like, this, it, it just might not be doable at this point. <laughs> the explosion's rocking the earth, dude. It's insane. It's so bad. It's so bad. Look at all these artillery pieces too. Some of them are like trying to turn around and flee. And and we still don't have a single kill on one of these things. We don't have a single kill against a single one of these. Why? Why can we not do this, bro? It's painful. You know, you got to you got to root for Earth, baby. It's our home. But it's hard to root for Earth when we suck so bad. We suck Butt, dude. We're butt suckers. Oh, wait. Is this one going down? I think this one's shields are down. We might get a kill. We might get a kill. <gasps> Look at that. The shields are down on this one. Oh, my God. Dude, okay. This is monumental right here. Yes. We actually got a kill. Let's go. I can't believe that. We killed one. 
That is sh Oh, it's not dead yet. I thought it... I thought it did the death animation, but it apparently didn't. Okay, well, everyone focus fire on this one. I, I want to see this one completely toasted. I want to see this one dead. I want to see it crumble to the ground. It should be, right? Is that not the death animation? There we go. I think it's dying. Hey, maybe not. It's still firing. I keep, maybe it does like little weakness animations before it fully all out dies. That could be that? Yeah, look, it's like on fire. She's a burning. Not totally sure. <laughs> Is it gonna die? Or... Oh man, are we not gonna get this kill? Because every second we don't kill this thing, more of our vehicles die. All right, let's go into less slow-mo and just normal speed in here. Come on, guys. Come on, we, we gotta come out of this thing with at least one kill. You know? Wait, wait. Is it dead? Is it dead? Is it dead? Is it dead? What? Oh my god, that one just teleported. Okay. The new superpower, apparently. Yes! Yes! It just blew up! We actually got a kill! Okay. I'm calling that a victory in our book, despite the fact that the rest of Earth is now done for. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that's about it. Um, every nation on Earth was unable to kill all five, but we got one, and that's pretty pog. <laughs> Either way, guys, I think that's going to be about it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you did enjoy. Please be sure to hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below if you'd like to see some more in the future. Alright, guys, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.